Hi guys, if you are looking for an easy indoor house plan, today's video might just suit you. Today we'll talk about the Monstera Adonsoniae. It wasn't my first choice for an indoor plant because as you can see, the plant is a creeper. But before you jump to conclusions about this plant just like I did previously, you might want to continue watching this video as I show you how easy and versatile this plant is. Today I'm going to cut and trim from this Monstera adonsoniae and I'm going to use some of this cutting to start a new Monstera plant. When you cut, ensure your cutting has a note where the roots will grow. If there is already root growth like this one, you can cut and plant this cutting directly into soil. If there is no root on your cutting, you can place the cutting in water for a few days and in about a week, you will see root growth. To plant the cuttings, I use lightweight soil and they are a combination of cocoa peat, compost and cocoa chips. Plant your cuttings in and place your pot in partial shade away from direct light. Ensure the potting medium is moist and does not dry out. It will take the Monstera some time to grow before they start to creep out from your pot, so do monitor your plant if you do not plan to let it creep. If you plan to have it grow long and spread, you can consider having a cocoa pole like this for the Monstera to creep along on or let it trail down if you have a high space for it. In terms of watering, my Monsteras are in low filtered light areas, so I give them a good deep watering once a week. Here's an earlier plant which I've propagated. Now look how lush and beautiful it is today. I hope you've learned something about the Monstera Adonsaniae today. Thanks for watching. If you like more indoor houseplant videos, do let me know in the comment sections below. Have a pleasant gardening day.